Welcome back to my mini series on macros. Today, I'm going to talk about protein. Everyone's favorite macro to overdo. The truth is most Americans are eating way, way more protein than they actually need. And even if you don't consume animal products, you can still meet your protein needs. So what is protein? Protein is made up of amino acids and it is the second most abundant substance in your body. The first being water. So next to water, your body is mostly protein. What does protein do? Protein actually has a lot of functions and that's why it's so abundant in your body because your body needs it to produce enzymes, to create hormones, to rebuild tissue, to create new tissue, specifically muscle. Because think about why bodybuilders eat so much protein is because they need to build more muscle. But the caveat is people will eat a lot of protein, but they won't lift weights or work out. And you can't build muscle without protein and without working out, you need both. How much protein do you really need? This is still up for debate. Um, so I'm just gonna tell you my personal opinion because it, it literally ranges from 10% to a gram per pound of body weight. So if you're completely inactive, I'd say you need to probably get 20% of your calories from protein. If you are trying to build muscle or you're doing a challenge, then you probably need to follow the 0.8 to one gram per pound or follow whatever your coach is telling you. If you're trying to lose body fat and build muscle at the same time, this probably means your body's already stored a lot of fat, so you're gonna eat higher protein so that you can build muscle and you want your body to be forced to use that stored fat for as an energy source. Your body hates using protein as an energy source. It prefers glucose or carbs first, then it will use fats, and then if it's completely forced to, it will use protein. This is why bodybuilders drink uh, BCAAs and things like that while they're cutting carbs and eating more protein. They don't want their body to consume muscle, but when your calories are so low, you're eating a little fat, you're eating little carbs, your body has no choice but to use protein. So what do you do if you're not into meat, if you're vegetarian or vegan? or just experimenting at the time. What do you do for your protein? You can actually get protein in broccoli, peanut butter, beans, seeds. Most of the time, if you're combining enough foods like rice and beans, the classic example, you will be fine and you will get enough protein. If you're really concerned about it, there are plenty of uh, vegetarian and vegan protein powders that are available and even protein bars that have no animal products in them and still have the amount of protein that you're trying to consume. So don't freak out if you don't eat meat. You can definitely build muscle without eating meat. But if you do eat meat, that's a personal choice. I'm not gonna tell you not to eat meat. There are enough people out there to tell you not to eat meat, so I think it works better if you decide not to do it versus just doing it because someone told you to. I hope you guys enjoyed this little series on macros. Um, let me know. If you guys want to see anything else in particular, I'm planning to do my next video either on fasting or on um, water. Let me know what you think. Or if you hate this series and want me to stop, let me know as well. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching.